everyone, welcome to 2019. It is Aaron here and I'm here to share with you my very first tutorial video. I am really excited. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and I'm finally doing it. I got inspiration from J.R. Ali. He does this purple glitch zoom effect transition that I was really wanting to learn and I thought it'd be a great way to start out my tutorial series. And I wanted to share what I found out with you guys. I really hope you enjoy it. Before we begin, if you like what you've seen so far and want to see future videos of mine, hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell to be notified when I post a new video. With that said, let's begin this awesome tutorial. The first thing we need to do is make a new composition. We do this by hitting Ctrl plus N and we'll name this Zoom Glitch for the sake of the tutorial. And we'll press OK. And then we're going to import two clips that I used in my intro and I'm going to drag them to the timeline and I'm going to turn the audio off for the sake of the tutorial. And we're going to drag them to about right here where I want the clip to change. And I'm going to click on the first clip. And then I want to hit Control Shift D and that splits the clip in two. And we want to delete the second half of this clip. And now we have a transition between the two clips. Nothing fancy, it's pretty boring, it's pretty lame. We need to fix this. So what we need to do here is I'm gonna go about right here um, where the effect's gonna start and I'm gonna make a new adjustment layer. And what we wanna do is right click on a timeline, hit new adjustment layer. And we'll rename this to zoom. We're gonna add two effects to this. Under effects and presets, we're gonna type in optics. And we're going to get optics compensation and we're going to drag that to the adjustment layer. And then we're going to go in here again and we're going to type in the word force and we're going to drag CC force motion blur to the adjustment layer. And we're already at the spot we want to be. You want to be between the two changes. So this should be right where it's at. Yep. You want to be right where the clips change. And when you get there, click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe uh, to the zoom layer and we're going to adjust the field of view to 147 and you're going to get this little orb to get it to look the way that the affected in the intro we click on this reverse lens distortion and it flips it like so and we want to go back about five or six keyframes it doesn't really matter it's up to you what you think is best for your video and then we want to change that field of view again to zero and we're going to go past it a little bit here and we'll take it to zero again and press OK. And now we want to go in between them about right here and we're going to hit view center. Click on the stopwatch for it. And the reason why I'm doing this, you don't have to, but I'm doing it because I want to center the lens on myself to make it blend better. You'll see what I'm saying when we do this. So I'm going to move this over to the right some and maybe a little bit down and I'm going to go past it and go right about here and then I'm going to move it back and down some more here to get this effect and you should see a, a pretty smooth transition so let's play this here so you see how it, it's just more fluid by doing that alone but it still seems pretty sharp the way to fix this is you, you click on the adjustment layer and you press U. And this will bring up all your keyframes that you've added so far. You want to select all of them and press F9. And what this does is it easy eases the keyframe so it's not just a sharp line, it, it's a gradual transition. And there's a lot you can do with this. For the sake of this tutorial, I can't really talk about it much. But if you guys want me to, I can uh, do a tutorial on this in the future. But they're, they're very powerful and I'm still learning and trying new things with it and it's pretty awesome what they can do. Very powerful thing that you want to learn and get used to is Easy Ease. Uh, it does a lot in After Effects. And you'll see what I mean when I replay this. Just look at the difference. It's so much smoother and it's awesome. But we're still not where we want to be yet. There's no purple. And in order to add that we want to make a new adjustment layer. We're going in this layer, purple glitch. And we're going to add two effects to that. So we go back to the effect and presets here, and we're going to type in tint. 
and we're gonna drag that to the purple glitch adjustment layer and we're gonna do emboss and when I do this it's gonna look really weird but bear with me here um, because we gotta make some changes and we're gonna drag that to the uh, adjustment layer as well now it's really weird and in order to fix this we go over here to the mode of the purple glitch adjustment layer and we're gonna change it to hard light there you go and if you don't see this mode just go down here to toggle switches and modes and click it and it will actually switch between the views and you'll see it come up so once we got that in place here we want to go back to about where we wanted the transition to happen so about right here and we're going to set the colors to red and blue so the black was going to be red and the white's going to be blue which obviously red and blue make purple so it makes sense that we're going to get a purplish collar here and we want to set the relief of the emboss effect to 14 but before we do that we want to click on the stopwatch here to add a keyframe and we're going to set that to about 14 and there it is so now we want to go back a few frames just like we did with the uh, zoom and we want to set the relief to zero and we'll go past it a little bit and we'll set the relief to zero again and bam there it is now let's go back here and we'll just play this through and well, there you guys have it that's the purple glitch zoom effect that JR Ali uses in his videos I really love it and I got all kinds of ideas that I'm going to be using it for in the future. You can even do other things with it. You can sparrow it, spin. It's all about transitions in the videos. If you like what you saw, please uh, tell me in the comments below and if you have any suggestions for any other tutorial videos that you want me to do, just hit me up and let me know and I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. Um, again, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and uh, the bell notification if you want to see more of my content. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video.